All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites from the Indianapolis branch of the Great Millstone. And we're here to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well in teaching us this 100% truth. Say you taste to them and our fellow Akim who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also say you taste to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth that be like to the speckled bird, also known as your Israelite foreigners, and your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. To you, we say Shalom. Shalom. All right, uh, this is yet another installment in our camps uh, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob uh, series. We're going to be dealing with the, uh, the Tulsa Massacre of 1921, also known as uh, Black Wall Street. All right, and uh, <clears throat> again, uh, this for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, is talking about the continual atrocities and hell that uh, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, has put on uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, um, also known as, uh, you know, the, the 12 tribes of Israel, primarily make up the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, so with that, we'll get to the f first scripture. This is Obadiah. Okay. Huh? Okay. Obadiah chapter 1, verse 10, says, okay. For the violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall come to thee, and thou shalt be cut off, Forever, and you know, going into that man, hey, all the, like the brothers going into all the atrocities and things that y'all have done to the nation of Israel, you got you got a heavy you got a heavy price to pay, okay, and you're going to be shamed, you're going to be shamed for the things that you have done because of who who the scriptures, you know, the the, the elites of this world know who y'all, but the lower class, Esau, Edomite, they really don't know. Y'all mm -hmm. going to be ashamed because of who y'all find out who we truly are in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You, can, you know, that's why um, uh, Wisdom of Solomon said they should be um, with the Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 5, uh, 3 and 1. Uh, uh, the, strangers, the strangers of our... Uh, Salvation. Yeah. You want to get it? Yeah, pull up. Okay. This is a Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3. <clears throat> uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5. Yeah, it's 5 and 1. Yeah. Uh, it says, uh, verse, verse, verse two. Yeah. It says, uh, when they see it, let me start. I'll start at one. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter one, verse five, and it reads, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. And, and actually, we're doing that right now by, mm -hmm. by teaching his word. Yep. You know, we're standing in the face of those that have afflicted us, the ones who have held us down. You know, like the beautiful introduction that Brother Marlon Zion had brought out, man. You know, everything this dude has done. In, 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 in the hundreds of years, you know, to, to keep us down as a people, man. Mm -hmm. But you know, it was just like a brother was saying yesterday at camp, man, you know, like, we the salt of the earth, man. No matter where you put Jake at, man, we the greatest at everything. Mm -hmm. And um, just to land back off that, we are the greatest at everything in our lowest estate. Yep. You know, yep. so think when we, when we, when we, when we come up on a level that the Lord want us on, man, mm -hmm. we come up in the kingdom, we gonna be miraculous, man. Yep. Because right now, we the lowest on the total pole. We the lowest on the earth, man. And we still the best at everything that this dude got going, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, I just uh, just want to back up on that point. You said you said hundreds of years. You know, we just got to be uh, frankly honest, man. This goes all the way back to when we were uh, coming out of uh, Egypt. Yeah. It yeah. was uh, uh, Amalek, who we know today is the so-called U-ish, you know, the 1948ers, when small had us with the big nose and the doo, doo drips off the side of their ears and stuff. All right? All right. That's him. All right, he attacked us, came up from behind, and, and attacked our women, our, our, our feeble, and our old, and our young. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, and we got it. We, we went to war with him, got away from him. Who didn't want us to pass through that land so we can uh, uh, take the journey into, into the promised land? It was Edom. Edom. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. So th this 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 hatred goes back a, a long way. All right, uh, back in the wisdom of Solomon five, <clears throat> starting back at the top. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness uh, before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. And they made no account of our labors, man. Mm -hmm. All right, even now, you know, we should we should be making top dollar. Mm -hmm. The things we've done and built that how we built this country up, man. Mm -hmm. Even now, when you work overtime, sometimes it's still like it's not enough. Yeah. You know, we we uh, what the scripture says we uh, we, we work with a, a, a pocket full of holes. What's that? Yeah. That's uh, Haggai 1 and 6. Hold on. Let me grab that for you. You know? <clears throat> so they made no account of our labels. You know, we, we worked for free for hundreds of years over here in slavery, man. 
right, build this place up and for us to be us to still have nothing. Go ahead. All right, yeah, that's just right to your point. This is the book of Haggai, chapter 1, verse 6, and it reads, Ye have sown much and bring in little. All right, when you have done so much, we bring in such little, man. Mm -hmm. All right, work our fingers all the way down to the bowl. Uh, 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 even the easy what they said, they said they work us all the way up to, to rigor. Mm -hmm. All right, which means almost to death. When that rigor goes into the word death, you know, they worked us to death, man. We, 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 we brought in nothing. Go ahead, up. Okay. So even to this day, we still doing that, man. Go ahead. It says, Ye drink. But ye are not filled with drink. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's just like I skipped the part. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Yeah. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Yeah. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. Mm -hmm. And he that earneth wages earneth wages to put in a bag with holes. Right. Why do I say a bag with holes? Because we never have enough, man. Yep. You know, we, we're always still struggling. Mm -hmm. You know, look at us now, man. Even, even, even with the economy the way it is right now, man. <coughs> Twenty dollars an hour in the nineties was like making a hundred thousand dollars a year, mm -hmm. almost two hundred thousand dollars a year, man. You know, I think I think they said the equivalent of what we what, 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 what we're making now is like fifty thousand dollars cheaper than what it was in the nineties. Mm -hmm. So even now, <coughs> you know, with, with the devil even having that, you know, raising those wages, man, mm -hmm. we still struggling, man. All right, we, we still don't, we still don't have enough. Uh, uh, the brother uh, 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 Ash did a beautiful uh, uh, study, man. It was for uh, every CEO, for every for every uh, every CEO in America, every dollar we made, that devil made three hundred dollars. Mm. For every dollar we make, he was making three hundred. So that show you the greediness of these people, man. That's why we yep. have, we we we'll never have enough, man. Yep. They've always treated us like this. I'll be going into this Black Wall Street as well. <coughs> you know, what was the first commodity on the Black Wall Street, man? Slaves. Us, man. Mm -hmm. we, we're the first first thing on the Black Wall Street. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this, this dude have always had a, 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 his hand on our neck. All right, go ahead, Marshall. Yeah, I just uh, want to back you up on that part uh, at towards the end of the scripture. Haggai 1 and 6, it says, And he earneth wages... And, and, and he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put in a bag with holes. So another way that's saying, as fast as you get it, it leaves just as fast. Yeah, but hey, hey, even before you get your check, this dude already took money out of it. Yep. Man. You know? But if you don't want to put no money in Social Security, you have mm -hmm. no choice. Then, then, he came, then he came up with this federal tax and the state tax. Then he came up with this called, I think, a fast food. Mm-hmm. Which is another tax. So he didn't tax you... Three, four, and, and you gotta pay Medicaid. Mm -hmm. The local tax too. And that's the, that's the state tax. You know, that's another one called the Yeah, you got your state. county tax. You yeah, the county yeah tax all that. So they do the tax you seven times before you even got your check. Mm -hmm. and, and what's so wild now, we're all learning all of those uh, three, three letter uh, agencies. You know, you got the Federal Reserve, you got the IRS. All that's run by the same people. Those were never government, uh, those were never elected entities. By the people of the United States. That's right. You know, and and then we find now, all of that money is going over to uh, the land that's getting being bombed right now. You know, retaliated against. Yep. Uh, is paying for their health care and their education, and we can't even uh, uh, get it here. But that's Esau once again. You know, uh, c cutting off his nose so he can spite his face. They did a study on that. Um, they, uh, uh, most of uh, uh, so-called uh, uh, white people, you Edomites, rejected universal health care because you felt that uh, uh, the Israelites would abuse it. Now look at you. You know, you, you got to get uh, uh, a drug court for that uh, for that fentanyl and all that stuff you take. And now you the one all strung out. Yeah. All right. We don't want to get too, uh, too far, far, far away from that. Uh, I mean, but you know what? You know, we, we really not <laughs> far off because you know what? That's just the atrocities of this dude, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we just know we, we know his M.O., bro. Yep. Yep. You know, we just stay, we just stay the, the more and more atrocities that this guy has done to us, man. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Uh, you wanna go, I'm going to go back to... Uh, uh, Obadiah 1 and 10. Yeah, Obadiah 1 and 10. So for the violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. God, and we, we see that shame right now. If you read some of these articles about that Hurricane Helene, you know, uh, it's, 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 it's a known fact that a lot of them have hit these old sundown towns. Mm -hmm. yep. And when you look at the comments from Jake in these articles cheering this stuff on, they're getting upset and don't understand why. 
Yeah, that's that's that shame covering you. Mm -hmm. You don't want to admit the history of those places. Yeah. You know, and 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 uh, the the place where I forget the uh, the young Jake's name from Chicago just got hung in North Carolina. Yep. A couple yep. weeks ago, and that town was hit. Yeah, they said he uh, here. Yeah, they tried to say he committed suicide. Oh no, they they got uh, footage with him and three Klansmen. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got footage with me. So, uh, 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 therefore, the average the average Joe that don't understand what a sundown the sundown town is. All right, that's that's uh, a man uh, a man or a woman of color cannot be caught in in that town once the sun goes down. Yep. Those that's just, you know, just to break that down mm -hmm. for the average Joe that probably don't know. Uh, and it says, uh, "And thou shalt be cut off forever." And that's explained down in the uh, 18th verse. Mm -hmm. You know, after they serve uh, their thousand years of slavery, you know, uh, twice as hard and twice as long as we had to. Double. You right. know, oh, yeah, uh, double. Uh, you know, they're going to be rounded up, you know, and burnt up. Yeah, yep. because we're going to have to eradicate that seed off the face yeah. of the earth. I mean, I'll just go ahead and die and read that. We can't, we can't. Go ahead, bro. <clears throat> okay. This is uh, Obadiah 1 and 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a flame. That's the southern kingdom. And the house of uh, Joseph, northern kingdom, northern kingdom. A, a fire. Uh, the house of Jacob shall be a fire. Uh, uh, that's southern kingdom. And the house of Joseph is a flame, northern kingdom. And the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai have spoken. Yeah, so the house of Esau can be eradicated, man. After you built the kingdom up. You know, we have to eradicate that seed, man, because you can never rise again. Nope. You know? You know? You, nope. We have to, the, the Lord is going to destroy that seed, man. Yep. You know, the Lord said he has a, 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 a pretty much the Lord said he has beef with child forever, man. Yep. Indignation forever. Man. Indignation forever, man. Yep. That's that righteous anger. Because what did you do, man? People don't understand that the Israelites are the, are the Lord's chosen people. Mm hmm We're the apple of the Lord's eye. God. All right, and so somebody get that uh, scripture saying they further their affliction. Uh, Zechariah one and fifteen. You got it. Uh, I'll get it. Look at Zechariah chapter one and verse fifteen. It says, "And I, I am very so displeased with the heathen that uh, that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they helped forth the affliction." Right, so we like look. Don't get us wrong, man. We know that we we we, we displeased the Lord by going off, man. And the Lord said He was a little displeased. He said, "But y'all further the affliction even more, man." Mm -hmm. You know, because the Lord is still coming back for you, the Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, whether you guys believe it or not, man. That's right. Man, still, the Lord chose the people. Yep. The Lord didn't let the Lord didn't let no seeds be cut off. All right, no nation was cut off, pretty much, man. Good. All right, so so, and the Lord is not the man that He shall light. He doesn't change up. You know, what's I got? All right, uh, go ahead and get into the article. All right, uh, what you see on the screen, uh, this is an article called The Tulsa Race Massacre of 1921. Uh, it's from this uh, website called blackpass.org, which a link will be uh, put in the description box. All right, go ahead and start. It says the Tulsa, Oklahoma race massacres was one of the most, one of the worst urban racial conflicts in United States history. Two days of violence by whites against blacks left an estimated 50 people dead, hundreds injured, and more than a thousand black-owned homes and businesses destroyed. The riot, which began on May 31st, 1921, was initiated by an incident that happened the day before. You know, and we can't just, just put this out there too, man. We can't never trust this devil's numbers, man. Nope, nope. Even when you talk about his, his, his uh. It's full of cost. He lies about those numbers as mm -hmm. well. Oh, you know? yeah. They they uh, supposedly I forget uh, when. I think they found like three hundred more bodies when they were uh, excavating for a construction project. In the area. Yep. <coughs> All right. Continue on. <clears throat> he says the riot, which began May thirty first, nineteen twenty one, was initiated by an incident that happened the day before. On the morning of May thirtieth, a black man named Dick Rowland stepped into Tulsa Drexel Building to use the restroom. The elevator operator was a young white woman named Sarah Page. A scream was heard from inside the elevator, and Roland ran out. While there was no conclusive evidence, while there was no conclusive evidence, 
but whites in Tulsa believe that Roland attempted to assault Paige. You know what? You, you, know, it, it, you know, me and you talk about this all the time. A lot of these incidents when they massacre Jake, it always start with what? The white woman. White woman. Yep. The white woman. <laughs> And her sanctity. Uh, yeah, it, it, you know, uh, yep, you're right. Her sanctity, her freedom, her her, her, her belief, uh, how she feels. Because the same thing happened with uh, Emmett Till, mm -hmm. the white woman. You know, a lot of these big big things that be going on because of these damn women, man. Yep. Not even, just Emmett Till, even um, uh, 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 Rosewood. Yeah, Rosewood. Yeah. All the way back to Rosewood, yeah. You know, they well, they, they got to have, they had to protect the so-called white woman's uh, uh, image. Mm-hmm. You know? Even though, even though, man, hey, you know, not to, 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 to start too far off, man, slavery, man, hey, the, the white woman was more wicked than her husband. Yeah. yeah. You know, she was, she was, she was, she was born in Jake too, bro. Yeah. 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 You know, just as much as her husband was, man. Mm hmm And, and you know what? Them, them white bitches was lazy too, man. Yep. All right? They, they pushed them babies out and they, they, they gave them to their slaves, man. Mm hmm That's why, that's why the, 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 the kids call them man mom. Man, mom, because they, they uh, 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 own a man, mom. Because guess what? The, the they they hated Jake so much, but our women were even breastfeeding their babies. All right, it goes all the way that deep. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. You said you know there's a book out called uh, "They Were Her Property," going to prove the fact that uh, those so-called white women were 43 percent of slave owners. Yeah, because 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 what happened was. Because when they would leave their father, their father would give them an inheritance. Mm -hmm. And their inheritance would be slaves. Yep. So when they got with their husbands, they, they had already had their own property. Mm -hmm. And when they would leave their husbands, they, they would go to court to, to make, maintain their property. Yep, sure did. So they can get their slaves back. So it wasn't just the so-called white man, man. All right? It was, it, was, it, was that, it was that old cracker, cracker coon chick, too, man. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> Go ahead, brother. All right, back to the article. Uh, it says, Roland was arrested, and subsequent headlines in the local newspapers stirred up the white and black populations of Tulsa. Mm -hmm. Talk of lynching arose among whites, and a crowd of whites and blacks gathered outside the courthouse where Roland was being held on the night of May 31st. A gun discharged while a white man was trying to disarm a black man causing the incident to erupt into a much larger racial conflict. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Goes on to say, by the early morning of June 1st, the wholesale burning and pillaging of Black Tulsa had begun. Blacks were greatly outnumbered and the police were not effective in controlling the riot. That was on purpose. Yeah. Because okay. they were part of it. We, that's, that's what we've been seeing through all these things, you mm -hmm. know. They had the government no matter what faction of it or what level, had a hand in our demise with the, with the civilians. Sure. All right. <clears throat> Goes on to read, The National Guard declared martial law throughout the city at 11.29 a.m., bringing an end to most violence. The Guard then began rounding up blacks for internment. Most white rioters returned to their homes the night of June 1st, while much of the Tulsa's black population was in prison. The total number of people killed during the riot is debatable. That's going back to your point. Yeah. Yep. Can't trust them, man. <clears throat> they lie about that. Like, they, 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 first off, they be born telling the lies. lies. Yep. Yep. Just stick to that. All right. All right. Go ahead, bro. Okay. The total number of people killed during the riot is debatable. Uh, estimate, estimates range from 27 to over 250. Mm -hmm. It is generally believed that the number of deaths has been underestimated. Yep. There we go. Yeah, because that's what that's what they do. They, they try to dull it down mm -hmm. so it don't look so bad. Just like they want to come out with, with the critical race theory mm -hmm. and all these different things. See, that's, that's that shame. All right, mm -hmm. their shame of their actions, what they done unto us, man. Yeah. Right. Because now, 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 now the world is seeing that they are cruel and evil people, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I can't remember who it was, but um, they had brought charges up against America. Oh, for the cruelty uh, they've done against the uh, uh, Unique Latinos and Native yeah. Americans. Was it Europe? I can't remember. No, it was it's like, a whole organization, It's a man. worldwide organization. Yeah. You know, they 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 had brought charges up against America for uh, pretty much our slavery. Yep. You know? And what they've done unto us, you know. See, the thing is, man, that, like that's, they had their perpetual hatred, man. Mm-hmm. Did we, did we bring that out? Nope. Let brother bring that out real quick. Um, see, because... You want you want the one in Amos or Ezekiel? Uh, keep it on the Amos. Okay. Um, because 
they 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 never every time every time Jake started to advance, what did they do, man? They came over with a reason to destroy us. Mm -hmm. They never wanted us to advance in anything, bro. Well, no. you, you got you got you got to think about it, Doc. Slavery uh, ended supposedly yeah. 1865. Okay, we didn't become citizens until the 14th Amendment, um, which was uh, it went into effect uh, July 29th of uh, 1868. And really, we still not citizens. So I yeah. Can, because what does the Constitution says up to this day? We are three, still three fifths of a human. Yep. Yep. All right. And yep. then the Constitution was never made for us. Right. All right. It was on. It was made. For, it was. It was made for the white race. Right. All right. It was made for for the heathens as well. Mm-hmm. People, Jake don't even understand that he's the guy more rights than us, man. Yep. Yeah. And, 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 and the term black, you know, when you look it up in uh, the Bouvier's Constitutional Law Dictionary and Black's law, uh, Constitutional Law Dictionary, it has nothing to do with citizenship. Citizenship. Yeah. You know, you're nothing in, in the eyes of this government. And, and that's why they treat you as such. This is uh, the book of Amos, chapter 1, verse 11, and it reads... Thus saith Yahweh by Shemi Shai, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. Yeah, that's how you see that right now. You know what? Every time you look at what's going on, some type of judgment, especially uh, what was it, the last few years, especially when, uh, with the, uh, the uh, I gotta say it the right way. When the juicy juice was popping, mm -hmm. you know what was going on. Hey, Esau was Esau was out here whacking Jake, man. Yeah, they was out here. They was out here tearing Jake alive, man. Yep. Hey, you still got some. You still got some. Uh, a lot of people don't even notice, but you know, you still got some, some, some uh, down south cities where what they still picking cotton. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, bring this out real quick too. This is uh, a ledger. From February the 11th to the 14th in 1856, you know the brothers brothers should know about this ledger. All right, but this dude pretty much he went to he um, Jake was trying to sue somebody, man. All right, it says judgment reversed and suit dismissed as lack of ju ju uh, jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. It says number one is persons of African American descent cannot be nor will ever intend to be citizens of the U.S. Constitution. Plaintiff without standing to file a suit, so even even like them, bro, we we we, we still that still stands to this day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know that's why they can kill us in the streets. We have no remorse. They can do all these things unto us, man, because we we still are considered uh, 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 um, the Constitution is not for us. Man. Right. Well, yeah. Well, then uh, I just uh, you know the other day, you know uh, the the national the national police officers oath is to the Constitution and the first 10 amendments. Like you just said earlier, the Constitution itself counted us as three-fifths of a person, mm -hmm. okay? And and just for so you all who don't know, that's, uh, you know, uh, based on the number of representatives you get, and it also is a huge factor in what you hear on the news during elections called the swing states, yeah. okay? That's a big factor, okay? That's the Constitution by itself. And I just said earlier, we didn't become citizens until the 14th Amendment, okay? So we're not recognized in the Constitution, and we're not recognized by the Bill of Rights or the first uh, 10 amendments, mm -hmm. okay? So that's why they can do what they uh, do to you with impunity. Right. All right? And, 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 and guess what, man? You didn't read. You almost done with the article? No. You got a little bit more? Yeah, just a little bit more. Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> it's, uh... This is about two more paragraphs. It says it took nearly a decade for Tulsa to recover from the physical destruction uh, endured <coughs> from the riot. Well, so it never did actually recover from it. Nope. Not a hundred percent. You had, um, I think it was a doctor or something that sued. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was he was he was a doctor or, or a professor. Or, as a matter of fact, he was a lawyer. He tried to sue. He tried to sue for reparations of the things that happened in Tulsa. Mm -hmm. And he he been fighting the case ever since he, he was fighting the case for years all the way up to today. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, it says it took nearly a decade for Tulsa to recover from the physical destruction and endured from the riot. Despite its significance, both black and white Tulsans claim the incident has been hushed up and not adequately recognized because they don't teach it in history books. That's for yeah. sure. 
It says uh, it was scarcely mentioned in history books, especially the Oklahoman uh, history books. Last paragraph. In 1996, Oklahoma forced a commission to investigate the riot and prepare a historical account. The Tulsa Race Massacre Commission issued its report in February uh, 2001. It recommended restitution for African-American survivors and their descendants, a scholarship fund for the descendants, economic development, and the Greenwood District, and a memorial for the victims. This is a patty cake that's still some bullshit. Well, so, um, I'm sorry. So yeah. guess, guess what? Nobody ever, nobody went to jail. Right. All right? We, we, you know, it's okay for you to give us a little, little, little cr that's crumbs that they gave them, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Because, look, like I said, nobody, nobody, we, we, look, man, it's just like the scripture says, man, hey, since you, since you, since you, you, you seek out the blood, blood shall pursue thee, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People want these reparations. We don't want no reparations. We want the Lord to kill y'all ass. Yep. That's right. All right? That's our reparation, bro. Yep. Huh? Yep. One of the little trinkets that they give out, them little, man, that's, that's not enough, man. For what, for what we done, man. What, even, even if what, you give everybody in the country a million dollars, what is it going to do? It ain't going to help Jake. It's going to boost the economy. Yeah. It's not bad. You know, it's going to boost back up the economy. Yep. Jake going to be, Jake going to spend money, you know, the way he know how. Like, he never had shit. Mm -hmm. Most of them going to be broken a fucking year. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Esau's still going to be on top. No, we want the Lord to do this for us, man. Because mm -hmm. it's going to be more miraculous than some money. Yep. Yeah, I was, I wanted to add, you know, uh, it said here that they wanted to do that for uh, the survivors. Well, a lot of people don't know it was just this year, uh, in, I believe in June, that the uh, Oklahoma Supreme Court denied reparations to those survivors. Yeah, yeah. There's only like seven of them. No, it's three. Three. Died. And one died. <laughs> one died. Yeah, that, that, that case went on that long. But check this out. Probably the reason why it uh, uh, th they denied it. All right, um, in June of 2023, the year before, uh, Texas uh, congressman uh, uh, had a bill. It's on the docket right now. House Resolution or HR number 4321 says that any state or any uh, a local government uh, advances legislations for a bailouts uh, or with respect to reparations will not receive federal aid during disasters. So let's say if uh, L Louisiana had another Katrina, okay? If there was uh, stuff on the books where they tried to uh, pass, uh, well, no, we could look at California. Remember California uh, mm -hmm. was trying to do a reparations program, all right? Now, California, it's going underwater. You see it's falling apart. <laughs> you know, it's starting to go into the sea. Yeah. They they pulled that stuff. They pulled that reparation stuff. And a lot of uh, Jake in, in, in the California legislature had a hand in that. You know, we know they all paid off by uh, APAC anyway. All right? right. But the thing is, they pulled it because of that House resolution. Because even though it's just a bill, they can enact it at any time. At any time. So that's what you call... Uh, one of those uh, uh, un unrighteous uh, de de decrees. Mm -hmm. All right, I got that. Let me uh, read that. This is uh, Isaiah 10 and 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Yeah, that's what they do, man. Yeah. They find all type of ways. That's how you got to know. <laughs> you know, your parents always told you when you were younger, make sure you read that fine print. Mm -hmm. Because it's always, it's always a, uh, what, what is it called? Uh, what kind of clause? Uh, um, I can't think of what it's called. Contingency clause. It's always contingency clause. Yep. In, 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 in any, any type of paperwork and documents that you sign, that there's, there's a word something, mm -hmm. Esau got some type of way that he's going to still get over on you. Yeah, but the, even with that House Resolution 4321, that's nothing new. That's the same playbook. Yep. When the Emancipation Proclamation came around, most Jake don't know that that passed Congress January 1st, 1863. Okay, you got Juneteenth because they were the last state to do it, June 19th, 1865. But guess what was happening during that whole time? Not only was the 13th Amendment, you know, uh, uh, going through ratification, they were changing all those black codes into laws. 
So as soon as we came out of slavery, the same stuff they had as cold, they could put us back on the plantation for as an illegal law, like uh, vagrancy, loitering. You know, if we just get out of if we just get out of slavery and standing at the white man waiting for a job, you know, don't have proof of employment, police can walk up on you. You know, there's two or three of you standing together. That's loitering. Arrest you, put you right back on the plantation. Yeah. They, so yeah, jaywalking. Yeah. They, it was. It was. They, they were getting you for anything. Any mm-hmm. every little thing they wanted to get you for. That's what they was doing, man. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. You said. Uh, I got. A, I got a couple of precepts. You said that 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 uh, that pure reparations is uh, <clears throat> killing y'all <laughs> for what y'all did to us. This is the book of Numbers, first mm-hmm. precept. Uh, number 35 and 33 and it says so ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are Mm -hmm. for blood it defileth the land and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein but by the blood of him that shed it yeah all right the lord is about balance yeah all right, yeah. so what you've done unto us, you're going to be done unto you, man. Oh, yeah. So that's why the scripture uh, right away said, he that lead us to captivity shall go into captivity. Mm-hmm. All right, and we were the ones led us to captivity, so guess who's going? Yep. All you heathen nations. Yep. All right, anybody who was not a, a part of the Israelite, the 12 tribes, guess what? You had your hands on us. I think the book of Psalms 83. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, list the list of every other nation on the earth that had something to do with our downfall, man. Yep. So guess what? The Lord, the Lord will have that same balance. Yep. All right. Was that uh, First Maccabees uh, two and ten? What nation have not taken part of spoils? Yeah. Roughly paraphrasing. Yeah, y'all, 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 y'all did y'all thing on us, man. Mm-hmm. We're we gonna get our payback, but the, the, the beautiful thing about it is it's gonna be done out of righteousness. And another beautiful thing about it is the Lord said we're gonna we're gonna uh, pay you guys back double. God. All right, Lord said so we're gonna meditate terror against you. God. All right, God. for the things that you've done to us, man. Yep. You know, just an example of some of the things you you would you know, butt break us. You know, you take the strongest male, you know, and, and rape him in front of his wife, children, and kids. You know, you would take a pregnant woman, dig a hole, put her belly down in the hole, and beat her back. Yep. So you wouldn't harm your, your property, your slave. Yep. These are just, fed our kids to alligators. These are just some of the small things you've done unto us, man. There's yeah. some things we probably don't even know. Yeah. Kind. You know? Tie Jake to two horses and, and beat them till they rip them apart. Mm-hmm. You know? Yep. See, they want to see the, see the, see the, the so-called world wants you to forget about these things. Man. It ain't gonna happen. You know? Go ahead. What, what do you say? Uh, in the land of that captivity, they shall remember they themselves. Shall remember themselves. That's right. All right. We let, remember ourselves. Go ahead. Let me back up that uh, on Numbers thirty-five and thirty-three. This is uh, the book of Joel, chapter three, uh, beginning at verse nineteen. It says, "Egypt shall be a desolation. Mm-hmm. Egypt being the house of bondage. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And Edom, uh, a, a desolate wilderness. You know, that's all of his lands, including him." All right. He says, uh, Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land. Okay. Then he say in Numbers 35 and 33, blood defileth the land. Mm-hmm. All right. Verse 20, but Judah shall dwell forever. That's the southern kingdom and Jerusalem from generation to generation. That's us back in, the, in, the new, in those new bodies. Yep. Immortality with that new covenant in us. Okay. So we in our power right now with, with, with this scripture. And here's the, here's the key. He says, for I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, dwelleth in Zion. Mm-hmm. What did he say? For I will cleanse their blood. How did he say he's going to cleanse the blood? It has to be cleansed by the blood of him that shed it. All right. So, yeah. Um, back on that uh, uh, Tulsa thing. I sent y'all the clip earlier. Um, uh, I'll make it uh, part of the description, put in the description box too. Now the Justice Department wants to uh, open up another investigation on it after the uh, Oklahoma Supreme Court. Man, now fuck y'all, man. You know, yeah, you once again, you part of the same government. You know, y'all working together. Right. There's a pact. Yep. You know, uh, who did they find those leaked emails? Mm-hmm. By Nancy Pelosi, you yeah. know, don't promise them nothing. Don't promise them any help. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, uh, these 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 people, 
three people are, are going, to, going to pay, man, real soon. Yep. All right? Because uh, Crystal, cause we love, 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 love to pursue thee. Mm-hmm. So, hey, the blood is going to pursue them real soon. Yep. You, you ain't think of? No, that's that's all I got. The blood is going to pursue, pursue them real soon. You all right? read it? Uh, you want me to get that? Then we're going to close down. Okay. This is uh, the book of Numbers. Not Numbers. Oh, uh, you're in already. Ezekiel. Um, well, not this one. Not this one. Yeah, Ezekiel 35, uh, 5 and 6. Okay, <clears throat> Book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 5 and 6. <clears throat> and this is talking about uh, uh, Mount Seir, mm -hmm. which is the the home given to Esau Edom, okay? Uh, uh, back in Genesis uh, 36. Right. And it's also, right. you know, uh, works for everywhere he, 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 he owes today, you know? <clears throat> uh, Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 5 It says Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred And hast shed the blood of, innocent, of the innocent children of What's Israel What perpetual it means forever Continual yep. yeah, Non-stop stop. Yep. Okay. Right. <clears throat> because thou hast had a perpetual hatred And hast shed the blood of the children of Israel By the force of the sword And the time of their calamity And the time that their iniquity had an end Verse 6 Therefore as I live Say of Yahweh our power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou have not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Man, we can't wait to get our hands on you, on you man. devils, man. Like you said, meditate terror. You know, we cannot wait to get our hands on you devils, man. And then, and then, that's right, man, man hey, we, you know, we really rather we jive, we, we joke about it, man. I want to wake up every morning in the kingdom. Fuck yep. eating my this fucking face, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's going to be my... That's gonna be the crack of my, my morning, man. Yep. You know. Yeah, man. So hey, we we we, we, we this, this violence against our brother Jacob is beautiful because guess what? It gives our people uh 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 uh, 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 uh what's the word knowledge for? Not knowledge. I mean knowledge, but I understand it. It gives our people a fresh, fresh uh, uh remembrance of what we what, what we've gone through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they yeah. shall remember themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because our yeah. people. Get last good days ago, and we get caught up in this world and the things of this world, and we start being friends with this devil. Think this dude is with us, and this dude is against us. Man. Yeah, never trust know? our enemy. Yeah, just, just never trust our enemy. Uh, 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 um, even one of the prophets said he didn't trust his dogs around him. Yeah, uh, Job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he wouldn't even trust his dogs around Esau, man. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't, don't think this dude is. Uh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Back in, uh, in Second Ezra says, he, even though he go crouching and humble himself. You know, roughly paraphrase. That's a rock. Says, yeah, that's, that's a rock, rock also, yeah. That's a rock. He said he, he, he uh, uh, show this a rock. So, like, it says he, um, don't he go crouching and humble himself? If he can, pretty much, he, he'll stand up and take your place, man. Mm -hmm. Dude, though, he, he go crouching and humble himself, he still figure out a way to throw you into a pit. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, you said, uh, 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 uh he wouldn't, uh, Joe wouldn't put his dog around him. Look what we seeing now. Yep. Y'all saw the uh, article where that, uh, dude, they did a, a, a DNA, uh, uh, put a, a great test on dogs where this dude was messing with dogs man and the, the countless amount of videos i did a, a video uh about a year and a half back you uh -huh. know you got these uh, uh, uh edomite women kissing these dogs in the mouth like yeah. they're humans yeah marrying their dogs yeah you remember I told y'all they was having sex with the alligators down there in Florida. They had to oh, put a sign man. up. Very God, no. <laughs> they, had to, they, they had to put a sign up telling them to stop, stop messing with the alligators, man. This 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 white devil is a demon, man. Yeah, I seen one one time. Sick. Um, um put a, a, a fish around his rod. Mm. You know? So you got hey, these dudes, these dudes is, is they gotta go, man. You know, yep. so, and the only person gonna be able to do this, we're not gonna do it. By ourselves, but the Lord is going to do this. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh is going to be the one to avenge us. Mm. That's why the scripture say, "Vengeance is not mine, but vengeance is the Lord's." You know, mm -hmm. it says, uh, 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 "We're angry, but we said not." That the scripture tell us also, man. So we waiting on the Lord to do this thing. Mm -hmm. And once the Lord do it, nobody's going to be able to stop it. Right. You know, and that's the spirit that we in right now, man. We waiting on the Lord, man. You know, we, we're not perfect, but we, but we're but we're, we're trying. You know, we're, we're, we're repentant to the Lord. Mm -hmm. So I got I got a precept to back you about. Go ahead. Up. You said you know uh, we can't do it. We need the Lord to do it. But He's gonna use us. This is uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter <laughs> twenty-five, verse fourteen, and it reads, I "And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand 
of my people Israel. So the Lord going to use us to, to, to destroy this dude. That's right. Huh? But it's going to take the Lord first. Yep. You know, we can't go out here and, and raise up arms against this dude. This dude that the, the Lord, the Lord blessed him with, the, with, with what? The sword. The sword, man. yeah. So he got all type of instruments to yeah. kill us, man. Yep. Psalm seventeen thirteen, the wicked who is thy sword. Yeah, so right. we can't go up against these people, man. It's going to take the Lord to put the spirit on us, man. Mm -hmm. And once the Lord give us those spiritual powers, it's on. God. Hey, so, hey, so okay. Lord willing, we'll finish it off? Yeah. Okay, that, that scripture? Uh, yeah, you can finish okay. it off. Okay, Ezekiel 25 and 14. He says, And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according, according to mine anger and according to my fury, and they shall know... My vengeance, saith Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Now, the scriptures also tell us, Hebrews 10 and 31, hmm. it is a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living power. That's right. So the Lord's ever going to do according to his, his fury and his wrath, hmm. which is a scary thing, man, to, to think about the Lord's wrath. Mm -hmm. All yes, right. He's that demon, uh, uh, demon like power. Yeah. He's going to put that on us. That's right, yeah. bro. Because huh. even when you look at the, uh, just to make this last reference, when you look at the, the movie, um, uh, uh, what's the dude's name, brothers? Uh, 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 the, the start of the revolt. Uh, uh, they made a movie about him. Nat Turner. Nat Turner, yeah. Nat Turner, man. Nat Turner, that, the Lord just brought him to kill babies. Yeah. You know? And when you look at the movie, he was going, he, he, he was going there, he would kill a baby. All right, he had no remorse. But when he finished, you know, it, it, it kind of messed with his spirit. You know, remember he's outside the house, he couldn't believe what he had done. Mm -hmm. But the spirit of the Lord had jumped on him to do those things, man. So we're we gonna have them same spirits on us, man, but we're not gonna have no pity. All right, the Lord, the Lord said we're gonna, we gonna rule with an iron rod, man. Yep. All right, yes. we, you, you, you devils ain't gonna never be able to come up against us again, man. Yep. Our, our kingdom is gonna go on forever and ever. All right, it's gonna be an everlasting kingdom, as the scripture says, man. Yep, we sure did. We sure did. All right, so, so, Lord willing, that was edifying to the body. And with that, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Karkadash. I want to give double honor to our apostles, elders, great millstone, the teacher, we will. Peace, brother, safe to the whole flat, pushing this truth week in, week out. A sincerity, charity, and love with the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, throughout the four corners of the earth. With that, we want to say Shalom. Shalom. And Shalom to you, sincere brothers and sisters on the comment board, and you sisters that learn in silence. Shalom. Shalom. A baba ball. A baba ball.